Now I'll have to cut the outer line. And we have uh, two little cylinders that fit into the big cylinder. But this is gonna be... Oh, it's hard. That's a good sign. That's a good sign, yes. <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome back to Building Vilda. So yesterday I decided to go home and uh, make a template for doing this more accurately. So this is uh, what I came up with. Put some numbers in the computer and, and got these measurements out. So transfer these measurements to all of these quarters of this these cylinders and uh, then I should have a line to follow. So this line is for the inside and this one is for the outside. So I'll cut to the inside first and then shave to the outside. Should work out fairly well. <laughs> I hope. We are so happy to see how much interest there is in our propulsion project from people like you who watch our progress on a weekly basis and from new viewers as well. Our last video was a real success and attracted so many new subscribers. So thank you for sharing or commenting and liking our videos. This week we are back with part 2 of our series of episodes about Vildas, our sailboat's unique drive system and propulsion. In case you are new here, then you would probably want to go back one episode to watch it all from the start. Now Axel is trying to cut the fiberglass tube to shape it and he is trying to get it to the correct size to fit into the aluminum cylinder. This turns out to be a rather complicated task as it requires some fine detail measurements and cutting this tough material to such accurate size and shape is not as easy as you would think first. You doing okay over there? Yeah. Yep. So, I've cut the inside line. So this line, I've cut. Now I'll have to cut the outer line and between them I'll put a, a plane. So it's, this one's going to be pretty good. The first one's going to be a little bit off, but in the end it won't matter much at all. I removed a little bit too much material yesterday uh, from the first uh, during my first attempt at getting this right. It's simply not super easy this, but uh, we'll get it close enough. And once I have it really, really close, really good, I'll take off a little bit more so that this will clear the stuff I'll put on the inside of the cylinders. Bearing surface, I guess. <coughs> and remember, I'm doing all this with hand tools and by eye often so it's not super easy to get it all get like engineering fits here but I'll do my best 
thank you for bearing with us throughout the build, as we are trying to reflect in the videos the time spent on various tasks while also considering your patience and interest in following our journey. Just trying to strike a good balance between these. Marking this inside edge here black because when I cut this material off the, when I get into the black will be much easier for me to see than, than if, if I would have just left it as is. So I'm less likely to cut too much if I put that line there. I hope. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah. I... have a dilemma. <laughs> yes. Maybe you can help me solve it. I'm sort of figuring how to do it, but... This is the one I cut yesterday. This line I'm drawing now is the outside circle line. So what I'm thinking is if I could just cut straight to this line on both of them. Because this one is almost there already. I can make the other one prettier, but I don't need to be very pretty. It's like change of plans. Instead of angling this cut to make it look like it did in my 3D drawings, I'll make this second cut uh, perpendicular to this surface. Uh, means I'll have to cut that one once more but excuse the sweat we have uh, two little cylinders that fit into the big cylinder and and they can uh, rotate and stuff so this is the idea basically it'll go up and down inside the cylinder Woo! super clear sorry uh, but you'll see here so that's how the yeah the thruster will sit in the in the bottom here and it'll obviously go down uh, into the water to propel the boat looks a bit tight in some places, loose in others, but that's because of how it's angled right now, so uh, that'll all work out. Uh, there should be about 5 millimeter clearance all the way around, and I think got that. Uh, this is not perfectly round, that's why I wanted such uh, big clearance, so uh, so it'll be, it, it'll be close, um, but it won't be perfect. So those 5 millimeters give me the clearance I need for making something actually rotate in here when I need it. So, 
obviously that thing is upside down or perhaps not obviously but it is and so is this little cylinder but in principle the thruster uh, shroud will be mounted to the bottom of this cylinder with a prop inside and that will go up and down in unison for two half days of work I'm pretty pretty pleased but it's hot in here it's probably 40 degrees in here because it's 30 outside that's a lot of Fahrenheit for for those of you who do that I think around 100 in here uh, and then uh, tomorrow it's gonna be 100 outside so uh, yeah, 100 before. Fahrenheit so we're not gonna be here tomorrow it, it'll be too hot so Rox and I have marked the two giant holes we need to cut in the boat to get these two little cylinders in the lines there <laughs> I know where to cut but I'm uh, and yeah I will have to commit at some point and actually cut that hole but something I also need to do is adapt these cylinders so that this curved surface will sit um, nicely on that flat surface this flat surface uh -huh. perfect now so we can see it. i need a round surface like this mm -hmm. to fit on a flat surface like that perfect And I'm gonna do that with uh, various sheets of fiberglass. So, on here, mm -hmm. I will uh, laminate a few layers and uh, then I will eventually add a solid fiberglass sheet to that. So, I'll make a yeah, fairing block or, or something between the two surfaces. That's the plan. You want a plastic stick? <laughs> That's a happy dog. I 
he's like, no, it's my stick. <laughs> Do you like dogs? Yes, I love dogs. Of course I love dogs. Especially sweet dogs like Andy. Yes. These are the curved pieces of glass that will later be shaped into a piece of glass that's curved one side and flat the other so that I can mount these round cylinders to the flat end of this cylinder. So, looking pretty decent. <laughs> so how do you think this went? It went well, of course. After oh, yeah. your vast experience with uh, lamination. Vast, vast experience. Yes, yeah. and fiber glass. No, you it's going to be, be good. I should be now. a pro by now. Yes. Wonder why I'm not. Yeah, but this is going to be... Oh, it's hard. That's a good sign. That's a good sign, yes. <laughs> That's a good start. Yes. You want to pull it off? Should I try? Yeah. Just lift the glass. That's not connected. Oh, yeah. let's hope so. But mm -hmm. I've got no gloves. It's a bit... Should be fine. Yeah. Yeah. So it's slightly more connected to the paper than I thought. It's not so bad. No. The tape is stuck. The tape is stuck. Most, stuck. Most of that is going to be cut away anyway. Yeah. Hmm? Very nice. Yeah. A little bit of air there? Or no, no, no it looks, it's very, it looks very good. good. Mm -hmm. It's very good. Yeah. Nice. And we have two of them. And uh, yeah. Yeah, the only thing is sometimes if it gets stuck a little bit, yeah, because you get a fold in it or something like that, then it's a pain in the ass to remove. But yeah. Now, basically, need to glue. Build on top. Build on top. I'll build them upside down like that because it's easier to get it to get the dimensions right and I'll build two pieces of that glued together and you get a very stable very solid bond if I build it like this but this is longer than that and it's a little bit more tricky to get it even so so here I can actually lift this 20 millimeters. Yeah, uh, now the next piece I'm gonna glue to this. And the ah, glue so will take up the. Will cover the extra bit. Well, yeah, because yeah, it, yeah. it's not very much, uh, okay, actually. Okay, okay. So. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, you want to me? Yeah, so a little bit more measuring and uh, marking. And then build up the rest. Use this old fiberglass that I made before, and maybe some more of that stuff. Thanks for watching. We are very excited to have reached this stage of building Vilda project. If you enjoy our progress and videos, please subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, drop a comment down below, and we'll be happy to reply. Or you can consider joining our Patreon crew. Thank you so much.